I'm busy. Duty calls. I've been trying to get you on the phone. Open the door. Board having any closer to catching Red John? I don't know. I keep getting interrupted. What I need is radio silence, Lisbon, for a week, if you can. The dead body at LaRoche's house won't wait that long. JJ's. He asked for you specifically on the case. Any thief to break into LaRoche's safe for a list of Red John suspects? Yeah, I know. I had to slug the guy in front of his lawyer to keep you out of jail. Cost me six months in anger management. Yeah, and I hope you learned something. My point is, he opened the safe and he saw a Tupperware box. Which was stolen this morning. To blackmail LaRoche into dropping his investigation. What investigation? Well, apparently, there's a security leak inside the CBI. Well, maybe your thief took it. No, LaRoche's new safe is way out of his leak. In any case, the missing plasticware has the power to end LaRoche's career. And you really don't know what's inside. Oh, I, I don't. But LaRoche doesn't know that. So while I'm busy with him, why don't you assign Brigsby and Van Pelt to find out what's in the box? Our job is to catch the criminal who got away, not protect some CBI agent who might be dirty. So much for the anger management training. If we can solve the mystery of LaRoche's secret, it will lead us to the missing criminal. Why don't you just ask LaRoche what's in the box? Well, he's not going to tell me voluntarily. It's embarrassing to him and deeply personal. And it's in Tupperware? Yes. How could you not want to investigate? I don't get it. Why would somebody hire a disabled thief to rob a safe? Well, you wouldn't, not knowingly. Now, you said Parsons here owned a locksmith business. Yeah, with his wife. I'd like to meet her. Heard you had some news on the case? The phone company just confirmed that a call was made from the CBI to the locksmith shop. LaRoche is right. We've got an internal leak. That's not news, Lisbon. A phone extension would be news. Oh, well, they could only trace it to the general switchboard. But still walking around blind, Lisbon. And we're pressed for time. LaRoche is pressed for time. We're doing fine. What we have is Shedrick's name on a masthead. I don't want to rush to judgment. Well, nobody rushed. We took our time to judgment. But now we're here and we need to act. If we don't arrest her by tonight, she's going to expose LaRoche. Expose him for what? I couldn't tell you. Have you ever thought that it may be LaRoche's secret should be known? Endlessly. But I've come to the conclusion that whatever happened, he has punished himself enough. But I still don't know about Shedrick. Yes, you do. In your gut, you know. She sold you out to Volker, you know that. Her actions almost led to the murder of an eight-year-old boy. For once in your life, Lisbon, don't be the voice of reason. Be the voice of wrath. All right. How do we get the bitch? Guys, she's here. It's time to start moving. Let's roll. Let's not. Turn the camera off. This hasn't been cleared. Yes, it has. I just left Bertram's office, and he says it's a win-win. He just wants you to shepherd our TV colleagues here. No wonder you didn't want me asking about Miguel Leva. You knew all along a raid was in the works. Well, of course. Okay, just let me make a phone call before we go. We don't have time. You're holding us up. Let's go. Here's your vest. If you hurry, you can make the 6 o'clock news. Um, point the camera away from you. Bye-bye. Bring back.